Today's video will cover part one, the making of my homemade shop trolley crane. I've got the pipe in the Colchester lathe and I've just got a live setter up the backside. I need to get off this powder coating uh, to weld it and also to put my paint on it. So I've got this old file on here. You shouldn't use files with the handles broken on them and, uh, or without a handle. So what I've done, I'm just going to be real careful. This is an old file, probably 30 year old. I used to use it as a gasket scraper when I was motor mechanicing. So what I'll do now, I'll turn it upside down. I've got like a cold chisel held in the tool post and I'm just going to scrape it. Come over and I'll show you.
So I'm a little bit out with my measurement here and I try to grind it on the radius of the multi tool but to no avail. So I'm going to throw it back in the mill. What I had to do is weld a piece on the bottom just really quickly and that will allow me to hold it in the vise right? and then I'll be able to clock off it, find the centre, run the boring head back down through here and hopefully she should be job right. So I'm set up, um, should be right in the middle here now. So as you saw earlier, I clocked off on the inside. Uh, the ball's 10, come in five, and then come in 12 and a half because the width of the material is 25. I've put a longer boring bar in the holder. And uh, this is new, I just recently bought this. So I'm really happy with it. And what I'm gonna do now is just come down, wind down, and try and get that full 50 mil cut. All right, through there. So here we go, here's hoping anyway. both brackets made finally you can see the top bracket here and the lower bracket here now I made a bit of a blue with one of those supporting diagonal arms um, silly me cut the major and not the minor angle so it's a little bit out but anyway you won't see it on camera So I've welded up the lower frame, and you can see here on the upright, I've drilled two holes. Now, they're penetration holes, so I can actually go in there and plug weld that, the inner tube to the outer tube, okay? Now, this was scrap that I picked up, and it was actually uh, like a chain mesh fence. Now, it was, it was galvanized and powder coated, so it's a bit of a prick to work with, so I had to put it in the lathe and scrape all the powder coating off and then hit it with some emery. Now it's going to be a tight fit, but fingers crossed it will go in. And that probably just about does it. We'll keep it that there and we'll go back to the bench now and weld this pipe. That way then, as I'm rotating, it won't slip down and the crane will fall over. You can see the two holes that have penetrated the outer sheath and that should lock the inner pivoting tube in place. So what I'll do now, I'll weld those up and then grind them flat. And then so I welded this ring on around the outside sleeve and this will just help uh, stiffen it up a little bit when the sliding tube goes on. So I've got double wall thickness uh, for where it's uh, swiveling from, okay? However, it's hitting the, the trolley, so I have to mill out that bit of section there. And that flat now should clear that. Um, I had to take out a bit of the MIG weld, so that's why I was using a carbide end mill. I find carbide handles the MIG. MIG's really, you know, when you MIG weld, it's really a low hydrogen process, so it's much stronger than a normal weld. Well that concludes part one. I envisage that it's being about, probably about a three part series to get this 
shop, trolley crane built. I uh, appreciate you coming and hanging out with me today in the shop. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week, hopefully, when I complete the next part of this build. All right? Have a lovely week. Uh, stay safe in the shop and look after one another. I'll see you on the next Aaron Engineering build. That bloody Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering keeps showing me up doing all these long parts and his big lay. Well, it's time I stick something long up the guts of my Colchester. Today's video is sponsored by Humpty Dumpty Machining Company. They stock a full range of safety shoes and safety boots, all custom made here in Australia. Take a look. Have a look at the shit I've got in here. It's going to keep me busy from our soldered breakfast time.